Hello and welcome. Just recently I received the question, how much of that knowledge that you acquire during a certification course and becoming IT certified or cybersecurity certified, how much of that knowledge is actually being used in your day-to-day -day activities and your job? And the short answer is not a whole lot. On average, I would say it's probably about 10%. If you're lucky, 20%. And the rest, is that wasted? No, I don't think it's wasted. And here in this video, I will explain why and why I still keep recommending that if you want to make a career change to get into IT or into cybersecurity or move from a certain IT career into a different one or cybersecurity, that taking a certification course and becoming certified in that specific area is still one of the best ways to make that career change. So I mentioned about 10%, maybe 20% if you're lucky, of that knowledge that you acquire during an IT certification, cybersecurity certification course is maybe being used. What is the rest really? So, I mean, for one, there's a lot of, I want to say, scenario-based. A certification course is not just about that specific knowledge. Of course, that's one of the main objectives, to teach you knowledge and verify that you understand the knowledge and can use it in your day-to-day -day activities in a certain way. But there's also a lot of fundamentals that you need to understand. And fundamentals are really just like giving you a foundation that makes you qualified to do the job that is part of that other part of the IT certification. So those fundamentals are critical. They are even more critical when you move up in your career because when you take on more challenging items, the fundamentals are not being taught anymore. You're way above that. And so if you skip on the fundamentals, at one point you will reach a breaking point where your career will crumble because suddenly um, you're in a position that you're not qualified for because there's just a big gap at the bottom that is missing. And just like uh, a Tetris house, it will just all come crumbling down and your career will be there in ashes. So the fundamentals are very important. So I wouldn't skip those. The other thing is why I still recommend to become IT certified or acquire a cybersecurity certification is that it's a learning framework. So I'm not saying you go to college or you go to one of those training centers and sign up for a class and, and spend a lot of time there. Uh, going through, I want to say, a self-guided IT certification uh, can really help you to learn and study at your own pace. And you can supplement it with additional training if you want. But in general, it's a framework of how to study, how to learn a certain technology. And they will guide you through all the pieces, sometimes more important pieces, sometimes less important pieces. And that's the stuff that you don't use in your day-to-day uh, -day job activities. Uh, but they will guide you to that finish line. And when you tow the finish line, that's when you take the IT certification exam or the cybersecurity uh, certification exam to really go back and making sure that everything you went through, uh, you understand and you can put into practice. And practice is for the exam, not for your day-to-day -day job. So that framework is very important. Not everyone can afford from a time perspective or from a money perspective to go to college or to go to an expensive training class that costs four or five thousand dollars for one or two weeks or to go to a 90-day boot camp uh, at a local community college. So those are all options and great ways to learn certain things and you might become certified that way too or you even earn a college degree. But uh, the framework itself, especially if you're starting out in IT and you don't necessarily know where to start, what to do, how to study, um, how to really just showcase what you learned, the IT certification is very important from that perspective. In comparison, if you would go to a trade school or to college, your knowledge may be more hands-on and more connected to your day-to-day -day activities. Of course, it depends on the degree, the, the program that you signed up for in college, but in general, it should be a little bit more hands-on. It might go deeper in the fundamentals even, so there's maybe even a better understanding, especially if you have plans to go down into, I want to say, the um, higher levels of your IT career, become an engineer or become an architect, systems architect, or if you want to get into IT management, where your knowledge is mostly in a theory there, a theoretical knowledge, not practical knowledge, uh, that's where these fundamentals matter. So when uh, you get a presentation from one of your underlings that uh, wants to uh, roll out a certain new technology and is making the case, and you're sitting there and you have to decide if you're missing the fundamentals, uh, well, you might not be able to make the right decision. And at one point, uh, this will come down back to you in your career and uh, put you on hold where potentially you're 
being sorted out, meaning being laid off because you're just not up to the task, or where others around you are performing significantly better. So keep that in mind when looking at an IT certification and just wondering, okay, is this one worth it? And not every IT certification or cybersecurity certification is worth it. You have to pick and choose. You have to really map out that initial plan between the first three months, six months, 12 months, and so on. So that is an important part of career planning. But don't just dismiss an IT certification because a lot of that knowledge is wasted. It's not necessarily wasted. So that is my take of the question, how much of that knowledge that you acquire during an IT certification course, cybersecurity certification course, and when taking that exam and become uh, IT certified or cybersecurity certified, how much of that knowledge is actually being used in your day-to-day -day activities? So again, 10, maybe 20%. Uh, the rest is not necessarily wasted. It's just it doesn't get put to use all the time. Uh, it might just happen once in a blue moon, but that's when it potentially matters. So what is your opinion in regards to this topic? Have you taken IT certifications and then realized, yeah, barely any of this is being used in your day-to-day -day job activities? Or was it different? Did you have actually used a lot of that in your job and it helped you to move forward? So I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I would say I see you next time in my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.